Hey, what's up? Chaz here at SRAM Schweinfurt, and we are about to get a behind the scenes sneak peek at their testing lab, which is huge because we've already covered that the engineers design the zip hubs and a ton of the crazy drivetrains that we ride. They give it to the prototype shop, which builds the prototypes, but this is where they test it before it goes to the pro athletes and then to you. So let's see if we can pop in here and see what they do. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about what you've seen here, drop it in the comments, but for right now, it says no photos, but let's check it out. We're here at the test lab. It's Tram's biggest uh, test lab. We do about 500 tests here each month. Most tests we developed ourselves. There's not many standards in the cycling industry. It's really, you know, what we found out over years and you know we've worked with thousands of test riders to get all these machines and we built them ourselves and um, we test new product in here we test current product in here um, but also a lot of future products so there's a few things i can show you but there's also going to be things where unfortunately we can't show you but it might be on your bike in three to five years you just don't know it yet Ugh. but the person to really talk about the test lab is next to me it's marcus what's up marcus how are you my name is Markus Klier. I'm about 24 years now with SRAM and in charge of the testing here in Schweinfurt. What's going on this? It looks a little medieval. But uh, this is a test and uh, bunk drum test for a complete wheel. Um, basically, it's uh, we call it uh, rolling roads, rolling landscape, um, where you can see here that the drum itself is deriving from a tester and more than 80 years old. Originally uh, driven by a diesel engine. Wait, wait, they had a diesel engine here in the factory, the shop? That was the early times when Sachs developed hubs. Um, of course, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, the testing got a couple of iterations and uh, refurbishments. What kind of distances are you running? Uh, on this one, we can uh, test up to the lifetime of the bearings, for instance. This can be up to 20,000 kilometers in the test and non-stop running for several 20, days. 20,000 kilometers. So you'll just set this up and go. And essentially, you just run it till the bearings give out. And then you know, like, this is how long they go. There are regular checks in between, but basically, we run until failure. This is the question that everyone always asks at every gravel race ever. What PSI are you running? On this one, uh, that should be something around 30 PSI. 30 PSI, all right. Yeah, so this test is actually from before World War II. It's really from the 1930s. And this is the same drum from then. And then you've added obviously an electric motor and yeah. the laser measurement and all of the actual high-tech yeah. stuff for it. But That's the original drum from the 30s. That's yeah. rad. Yeah, the base is so long because it had a diesel engine before. But now it's moved to an uh, electronic engine. This one is a simulation, uh, like uh, out of saddle riding or sprinting, where you have also lateral forces uh, coming into the wheel. So the side to side as you're as you're sprinting on it. Exactly. And so that's pushing, giving it the lateral deflection, as if one was sprinting or cornering hard. Exactly. Um, we're doing a lot of field testing, but uh, this would take uh, months or years to really. Uh, see a product failure of that type. So with that, uh, we can run accelerated testing. This is also pretty, like, you not only test product here, but Wait, Marcus is also- You race too? Another we engineer also, tester that races? Yeah, you were second at World Champion TT. What? That is a, Come on. A couple years ago. Come on, tell so, me about it. So you test them in these machines, but you also test them in real life when you race um, on them. Like many other SRAMIs, I'm passionate about cycling. Yeah, and my favorite discipline is time trialing. So, and, uh, typically, I try uh, to what we test here in, in the lab, also in the real races out there. That's amazing, though. I mean, that's again one of those things that makes this so special is that you're not only testing this here for your job, but you're also taking it outside of the job and doing the real world testing on it. So this, the large wheel down there, is putting the load on the wheel. You can see the tire compressing. Exactly. So. The front motor is driving the wheel set uh, in a sinusoidal way, currently ramping up for the test. And uh, the rear motor is simulating the road. Those waves are essentially someone pedaling, like that's pedaling, literally yeah. someone moving up and down on the pedals and testing yeah, it's it. It's pedaling, and then it's interrupting um, the run so that the driver mechanism, the poles can re-engage in a different position and then repeat this test 
again in, in Cyprus. I was walking by and I saw some weird stuff going on. Also endurance testing. So you'll put a product in there, whether it be like a derailleur or a hub or anything, and you'll subject it to the gnarliest salt spray, like if someone was you know, basically riding in the ocean and you could do temperature ranges. How, what kind of temperature range can this, can this produce? Um, this is a standard temperature range. The other climate chambers we run between minus 30 and plus 50 degrees. All right, so the first time that I ever saw ETAP was at the Las Vegas Interbike Trade Show and they had the whole drivetrain underwater in a fish tank and they had the Bluetooth components outside and you could shift outside the fish tank and the drivetrain would shift inside the fish tank with the fish swimming around. So this is essentially where you guys made sure that that was going to work properly. Actually, the, uh, the part of the show was really a part of official testing, uh, testing procedure. <laughs> the Thank you so much to Marcus for showing us what he could about the testing facility. I probably can't even be showing him that. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. He probably won't answer them because he can't, but maybe two years from now you'll see the product in real life. Till next time, make any faster.